As with any adventure, it has to start somewhere. Uh, I highly recommend before embarking on any journey that you do some heavy research. And one of the things that we're going to be striving for is how to upgrade from one Android version to another. And our target device, in this case, is going to be the Blue Life 1X2. Uh, this is the same device that we uh, built a uh, device tree from scratch for. So not only did it not have a device tree to begin with, it definitely has not been upgraded from one Android version to the next. It's been stuck on Android 6 since it was created. So uh, in the other uh, set of videos there, we went ahead and built a device tree from scratch for it. And we based a lot of that work on the U Eureka Black. And the reason for that is because they have the same processor with the Snapdragon 430 uh, system on a chip. Uh, they have the same um, pixel density, uh, the same, essentially the same build, uh, very similar at least, and a lot of the same materials inside uh, the Adreno 505 in both devices for the GPU, the OctaCore 1.4 GHz Cortex A53, uh, same for both for the CPU, the Qualcomm MSM8937 Snapdragon 430 for the chipset, and the same OS when they started. So this is uh, fairly handy when we were trying to build device tree from scratch to borrow things from the Eureka Black to see kind of how they did things. Uh, the two, two big things that were different was the um, camera and uh, the fingerprint sensor. But uh, overall, a lot of material that was the same that allowed us to uh, utilize a lot of the Eureka Black um, information to decide how we were going to build our device tree. Well, likewise, if we want to upgrade from one version of Android to the next, it's very helpful to look at another device that has very similar properties that has been upgraded from one to the next. Now there's there's several different ways that you could go about upgrading from one uh, version of Android to the next. The first is you could just start modifying files and uh, throw them throw them in there and see what happens. Nothing wrong with that approach. Um, and then as you run into errors or as you have to fix things to make things work then you can start doing changes and upgrades. And that's that's a very handy way to do things. Um, very straightforward and uh, will probably just require a lot of uh, you know brute force as you work through the issues as they come up. Uh, another option is like I just said to compare uh, a device that's already been upgraded. So we we used the Eureka Black when we were trying to build a device tree from scratch. Likewise we can use the Eureka Black because it's been upgraded from Android 6.0 to Android 7.0 uh, so <clears throat> and I believe beyond. But uh, so if we bring up on GitHub the Android device U Garlic, that's the code name for the Eureka Black. And uh, I'm looking at a repository by H2O64. A um, lot of great work that's been done here. Definitely want to give props to, to uh, the um, authors and people that are hosting this. And uh, don't want you to think that I just came up with all this stuff on my own. So we're looking at the CM13.0 branch and then we're, we can uh, see that this is the Marshmallow branch, the original bring up as it were for the Eureka Black. And then they have several branches in here. They have the 14, the 15 and even some Oreo type material here. But what we can do, particularly on uh, GitHub and on GitLab and with various different tools that you can do on your own computer, but a handy way to do it is right here on GitHub. If you click on this branches, you'll see all the branches here. And you can choose a branch and compare it to the master branch. So the default branch is the 13.0. And we're going to compare it to this 14.1, which would be Nugget. So when we click on that, what we get is this series of commits that show what's different in the commits. But also we can click on Files Changed. My internet's a little slow, so I preloaded the tabs for us. Uh, and when we click on those Files Changed, we can actually see 
the 320 changed files with 23,526 additions and 13,101 deletions. That's a lot of changes. So what's great is using these little arrows, as I'm sure you're familiar with GitHub. Uh, I do have a video series on GitHub if you need some help with that. But you can actually shrink these down and uh, look at particular uh, things. But we'll go ahead and look at uh, we'll look at this board config.make. So what we can see in here is they're taking away uh, some material and they're removing some material and then they're putting in new material. So for instance here they have taken these board make boot image arguments and essentially uh, put them all on one line except for they took out the second off offset. Um, so you can just see the differences in some of the things that they did here. Uh, most likely, let's see, yep, a lot of this type material has changed here. They took a lot of these first portions out here, cut it back to this console, and then added a few things as well. And you can see, you know, appending the DTBs and the kernel config. Uh, kernel config actually didn't really change, so I'm not sure why that showed up as a change. But then they went through and added some things for the audio to uh, work properly or to maybe work better. Removed a few things that perhaps didn't work anymore or caused issues and added a few more lines of different material here took out some things for CNE DPM added some fingerprint material uh, radio material looks like in init they added some files for that and media extensions that sort of thing so here's what's great we don't necessarily need to add every one of these changes, but we can look at the overall set of changes and say, hey, what's some things that are definitely different that I should probably consider changing in my uh, device tree that I'm going to upgrade from one version to the next? Or if you're going kind of the brute force method and you're just going to, you know, uh, start trying to build it and see what kind of errors you get as you run into errors you can be like oh maybe I'm getting that error because I need this or hey it built but uh, the sound doesn't work maybe I need to add some of these codecs and that sort of thing so you can definitely look these over and you'll have uh, something to um, compare with and you can say hey how did they get around this issue well look they installed some of uh, these extra files or they um, took out this material because it causes a problem or they changed from error to log E you know because that's the new logging standard for Android 7.1 instead of the old school error logging standard for Marshmallow um, or whatever the case may be I, I'm not 100% sure about each one of these changes I don't know what they all necessarily mean but just that uh, these changes have happened probably for a good reason. Uh, the other great thing is that we know that device is working so this gives us a great place to start. So again if you're going to be upgrading from one version of Android to another I highly recommend you do some research. Take a look around see if there's another phone that's at least similar. If not try to get one with at least the same chipset and kind of work from there so you have an idea of what um, what kind of changes you'll be looking at when you're upgrading from one version of Android to another. Now this of course only compares the device tree. There's another set of files that we always have to download which is the vendor files and you're going to want to do the same thing there because most likely a lot of those vendor files were built on if the device was originally Marshmallow those libraries and things were built with marshmallow tags and things like that and then they just don't work anymore when it's time to use them on Android Nugget or above. Some of them will be fine and some of them won't. So you'll definitely want to go through the uh, vendor trees, do the same thing, see what binaries have changed, maybe borrow some binaries from another uh, vendor tree to um, 
you know enable your device to work properly as well. We uh, during our building device from scratch, we borrowed several uh, you know vendor binaries from the Redmi. Uh, what was it? Redmi Note 3, I believe it was, and also this uh, U Garlic, so the Eureka Black. So we we borrowed a few from here and there to get a few things to work that we didn't have working before. So lots of things to keep in mind when you're trying to upgrade from one version to another. I hope that uh, this video series will be as uh, informative for you as it will be a good learning process for myself and a fun uh, thing to go through and try out. So looking forward to it.